PewDiePie has long reigned as the king of YouTube, heavy lies the crown, but this man has little to worry about because he's made billions and millions of dollars. PewDiePie doesn't like to spend his wealth on materialistic goods, in fact on Instagram he boasted that an expensive whiskey is the only luxury he'll allow himself to spend his money on. He has picked up a few pets including his pugs Edgar and Maya, and he's also got a frog named Slippy. Or is it Sippy? I'm not sure. But here on The Rich Life we did some more digging and it seems that PewDiePie owns at least two cars and we ain't talking about this piece of shit. Slam it. PewDiePie actually owns a Volvo XC90 and a Mini Cooper, but that's not all. He also got himself a 1982 Honda Motro, which is a Japanese import. And on top of this, he decided to make the seaside vacation spot Brighton, England his home. And here, well the rent, it doesn't come cheap. Yeah, you heard that correctly. As of June 2016, PewDiePie was still renting his property. This is pretty shocking stuff considering PewDiePie could be making a killing buying up whatever property he wants. His net worth is a bit of a riddle in itself. The popular website Celebrity Net Worth estimated that PewDiePie is worth $20 million. I'm broke. On the other hand, MoneyNation.com has pegged PewDiePie's net worth at 90 million. That's what I'm fucking talking about, bitch. Then there's the website RealityStarsNetWorth.com, which concluded that his net worth is 50 million dollars. To be honest, no one really knows how much money is in PewDiePie's bank account besides himself. But seeing as he's clocked in over 15 billion views and branched off into multiple other ventures, let's take a shot in the dark and go with. Uh, 50 million after taxes and expenses. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through his financial come up and what he spent his fortune on here for you on the rich life. My name is Michael Credden, and I got a question for you guys. What is the name of PewDiePie's cameraman? He's a hardworking dude who doesn't get nearly enough credit, and he has a very beautiful name. Take a guess, the answer will be at the end of this video. Now let's jump into this episode of the rich life. If I share with you my story, would you share your color with me? Ooh, this should be interesting. How much does PewDiePie make a year? He earns an obscene amount of money. Typically, I start these videos off with a short bio on our star, but for the love of God, I've already done it before they were famous on PewDiePie not once, not twice, but three times. He's even reacted and expanded on the first two in his own Before I Was Famous video. So let's get right into his YouTube career. Plus, if you don't know anything about him by now, seems pretty strange that you're still watching this video. As the story goes, his first channel was titled PewDie, but he forgot the password and returned to the platform on April 29th, 2010, under the name PewDiePie. How's it going, bros? My name is By December of the following year, his channel had around 60,000 subscribers. In 2012, his channel surpassed 1 million. In June of 2014, his good friends at the time over at the Wall Street Journal, they reported that PewDiePie had earned $4 million in 2013 alone. And back when him and WSJ were cool, he confirmed the figure as more or less accurate. His influence and numbers would balloon in the coming months, with him bringing in an average of 300 to 400,000 views each and every month in 2014 through to 2016. So we're looking at an easy $600 to $800,000 per month or over $10 million a year. Realizing this now, I really should have done more math stuff before I made the original Before They Were Famous video. I screwed up. Before he started earning $4 million a year. $4 million a year. That's cute. Since August 15, 2013, PewDiePie has been the most subscribed user on YouTube, being surpassed briefly for two months by YouTube Spotlight channel, but come on, we all know that was an inside job. He's held the position since the 22nd of December 2013, and his channel has over 55 million subscribers at the time of this recording. PewDiePie's unstoppable trajectory took a small hit in 2017 when the Wall Street Journal labeled him as an anti-Semite. They pieced together comedic bits taken from multiple videos, including a very obvious joke in regards to the website Fiverr and his ability to have people do just about anything for five bucks. He even had a few guys hold up a sign that read, well, you know what it said. Anywho, it ended up being the most expensive five bucks Felix had ever spent. YouTube also had pressure to demonetize my entire channel, essentially getting me fired. Luckily, my videos does not go against community guidelines, so it didn't. 
but they tried. Thankfully, this never happened and he continues to upload daily. But PewDiePie lost out on multiple branded deals, his entertainment network Revel Mode was shut down, and his YouTube Red series Scared PewDiePie Season 2 it was canned. I can't put a number on these potential losses, but one can assume it was well into the millions. I, it's, it's not about the money, it's about what's fair and what's right, at least if you ask me. But don't fret friends, PewDiePie still has plenty of other revenue streams. Let's take a look at his March line. Over at PewDiePieFanFiber.com, you can pick up a fidget spinner for $13.49, a t-shirt for $30.99, or a hoodie for $60. Bucks. His new line is titled Context Matters, which backs up his defense against the WSJ. Now I think these are pretty dope, and I'm likely not the only one. If only one in every 5,000 viewers were to buy something from this website, PewDiePie would take home another 40 million in merchandise revenue after taxes. And that would bring PewDiePie's net worth to 83 million. Or something like that. A lot of money. Money is the topic that I purposely try to avoid for the five years that I've been making videos because I just. I just feel like it's not important. Okay, I'm sorry, Felix, but we ain't done just yet. Of course, there is his book, This Book Loves You, which became a New York Times bestseller, and his video games like PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator, which was downloaded more than a million times within the first 24 hours. By now, you've gotten the idea that PewDiePie is very rich and is striking while the pot is hot with other sources of revenue. Good for him. Now let's take a look at what he spent his fortune on. Let's kick things off with real estate. It's kind of weird. That you would ask for my address? Back in July of 2016, PewDiePie was kicked out of his East Essex Brighton flat by his landlord for making too much noise while filming his videos. Back then, he and his girlfriend were living in a large early 19th century residential development on the seafront in Brighton, England. This town is also known as the unofficial gay capital of the UK and boasts a population of 300k. Rent prices in this area don't come cheap. Well, okay, I guess they do if you have 50 million or so in the bank. But for the average person, well, it's a lot. A two bedroom flat can cost anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 and that's on the cheap side. Back in 2016, it seems like Felix was primarily filming his videos at home when he got kicked out. In 2017, it appears that he decided to rent an office space and a second place for his home life. If he's still renting, expect those prices to have doubled or have tripled. He may, however, decided to have bought himself a house. Now, the average price for a detached home would be around $800,000 in Brighton, which is about four weeks' pay for Felix. Oh, by the way, if you're thinking of taking a trip to Brighton, England just to visit PewDiePie, well, my advice is not to do it. But if you do come to my house, I will not greet you and I will not take a picture with you. And if you came from really far away, well, I'm sorry, you shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's move on to cars. Now, I gotta thank PewDiePie's bros for helping me out on this one. I scrolled through PewDiePie's Instagram account and found two pictures of car interiors. Then I looked at the comments and the bros had figured out which cars they were. It seems that he owns a Volvo XC90 valued at 45 grand and a Mini Cooper, which would be around 30 k Again, Felix is keeping things pretty practical. There's one interesting thing I discovered while researching this video. Felix got his hands on what looks like a 1982 Honda Motra 50cc, an adventure scooter which was built and sold strictly for the Japanese market. Since then, a few have been imported around the world, and Felix showed off his ride in a December 2016 Instagram post. Then guess what? I found what looks like the exact same bike for sale in Brighton, England. I mean, how many of these could there be in that town? I mean, it's yellow and everything. I think it's the same one. Why are you so mean? Why are you guys always so mean? Felix decided to spend some money on furry friends scooping up two pugs, but dogs, they're pretty cheap. I mean, I got my buster for like 300 bucks. The medical bills, they're what kill me. Dogs got like every allergy in the book. As for pugs, well, they're a little more expensive. And then there's frogs. Well, they're cheap. I mean, Felix would have picked up Slippy or Sleepy or whatever for pocket change. From what I could tell, the rumors are true. PewDiePie doesn't spend the boatloads of cash he banks and lives a pretty modest life. What I've really uncovered is that Felix is totally obsessed with Japanese stuff. I don't know if that was a secret or if that was already out there, but it seems pretty obvious to me. Anywho, let's hope he shares some of that whiskey with his cameraman, Michael. I mean, that guy's got a fantastic name, and he's been there with Felix through some seriously strange shit. All right, guys, so there you have it, the rich life of PewDiePie. That one's in the can. Let me know who's next on the rich life. I was reading through some of your suggestions. I know there was Dr. Dre, there was Drake, and um, Lil Uzivert. I think that was your next suggestion. Let me know who's next. I'll be sure to get it done. My name is Michael McCrudden. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!
it really bothers me that someone just who just sits behind a computer. Uh, 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 what the fuck? Fuck you, light, son. Fuck you.